Hello everyone, Martin Hall joining you here and delighted to be so. Uh, this is the first of my Revolution Golf tapes and I'm really pleased to be doing this. We're here at the club at Ibis, West Palm Beach, Florida, my home. I've been teaching a long time, 38 years as a matter of fact, and a lot of things have changed in that time. The way clubs are made, how golf balls are made, but one thing that hasn't changed is everybody still wants to hit the ball a little bit more distance. Everybody wants a bit more power. And that's what this DVD is all about. I'm going to give you five chapters on power, P-O-W-E-R. We're going to prepare you to get going. We're going to give you an order for the backswing. We're going to give you width at the top and wind up. We're going to give you explode on the downswing and we're going to give you R for release, P-O-W-E-R. But just before we get going with all the tricks of the trade for that, uh, recently I did a bit of statistical research. On last year's PGA Tour, the top five players in distance won nine times and $27 million. Staggering. The top five in accuracy did not win and won $4 million. So the thing is, distance does matter. Now, to that end, distance. Well, you just increase your clubbed speed, don't you, Martin? No, it's not just that. It does matter, but it's not just that. Now get this and get this good and proper. Distance is club head speed applied correctly. Club head speed applied correctly. That's what John Jacobs taught me so many years ago. Club head speed applied correctly. So let me just show you something. It's a little trick I do when I'm doing clinics to show you that distance is not simply club head speed. I'm actually going to tee three balls up together. Three balls at the same time. I'm going to hit these three balls with exactly the same swing. So the club head speed will be the same. The angle of the face at impact will be the same. The angle of attack will be the same. The only variable actually is going to be where I hit them on the face. So I don't want you to think it's just club head speed. Now I'm not going to hit these very hard. And one's going to go fairly straight and one's going to scoot off to the right probably. And one's going to scoot off to the left. But I like people to see the difference in the distance these balls go is absolutely staggering. So here we go, I won't hit it very hard. Now you can see they went three very different distances in three very different directions, but they were hit with the same swing. So as we'll find out, where you hit the ball on the face, incredibly important. So I can't wait to get going. It's P-O-W-E-R. We're going to talk about prepare, how you prepare, the order of the backswing, how you wind up, how you explode on the downswing and how you release. So let's get going with prepare. <laughs> 